Hello friends, how's it going? Welcome to the vlog. I just got back from taking the kids to school. We've been walking every day and I've been walking to pick them up. And I feel like because of that, my mental health has been great. I feel like the last few weeks I've kind of slacked on like going outside, getting fresh air, like moving my body. And I do know that like that is one of the big factors that helps me feel better mentally. And I feel like since I've been doing this, my like my brain has been clear. My thoughts have been mostly positive. <laughs> I figured we'd hang out today. I had a late night. I went to Toronto for a Joe Fresh event. It was so fun. I've never been to a Joe Fresh event and I love their headquarters. It's so open and airy and everyone there is so nice. Their team is so nice. And I got a little fall and winter slash holiday preview. Oh my gosh, I'm literally, I was making like a mental note of all the things that I wanna go back to the store and try on because there's like the cutest coats, there's like such pretty dresses, like it, oh my gosh, their accessories, their shoes, their bags. I'll put in some clips, I did take some footage and I'll like throw them in here. They even had a little station where you could get embroidered pajamas. So they gifted us pajamas. They're like a classic button up look. They're so cute. I can't wait to try them on. Maybe we'll try them on in this vlog because I haven't tried them on yet. And then I just got my initials on them embroidered. It's so cute. And some fuzzy slippers. Today we're going to tackle the room of doom. I don't want to do it. Not even a tiny little part of me wants to do it. So I figured if I turned on my camera, a lot of you were like, I want to see you clean out that room. So I'm like, thank you. Thank you for holding me accountable because I don't want to clean out that room. So we're going to clean out my boot room. We're going to get it kind of organized, but I didn't get any storage containers, which was silly of me. I should have planned in advance. I was actually at Walmart a few days ago and I was thinking I should pick some up, but I just, I forgot. That is on the list. We need to get some storage containers for like boots and hats and stuff, but we're gonna do our best with what we have today. I don't, I don't, I don't even wanna think about it right now, but we're gonna do it. It's on our list. Let's start with a coffee. I'm gonna make a protein coffee and just start there. shirt I don't think so I think we're good hi Reese you coming down oh that's good mm-hmm I hit the spot what are you creeping what are you doing are you creeping at me she's mad she got into one of my pumpkins it was a styrofoam one and I left it down too low for her so I got a little upset you just can't do styrofoam huh yeah also, I wanted to show you, I switched up my lemons for pumpkins. Go me. So I don't think I showed this um, during the vlog, but like I have this little setup here on the other side of the kitchen island. Little festive candle I got from Winners. 
my festive Worthers, and a little pumpkin and a dying bouquet from Andrew. <laughs> and this is newer too. Isn't that cute? I just got, I ran out of tea light, so I gotta get another tea light. So this is the other side of the island. My Bath and Body Works candles still haven't come in yet. One's gonna go here, once it's here. And then I found this like little acorn from the dollar store, Dollarama. And so I put it in like a little trio for the time being. It'll, it'll do. I am going to make salmon and rice for lunch. So I'm going to put this in a cold bowl of water. That is what Google told me to do. And then I replace this water in 30 minutes. It said that it should be thawed within an hour. So I'm hoping that's right because it's about 10.09 now. So hopefully this is thawed by like 11 if not later and then it'll take me like half an hour or so to cook. I don't know, we'll find out. Oh, so I'll set a timer and then I'll come back. Also, I think I'm gonna air fry it and make some rice and veggies with it. Like how good does that sound? And it's gonna be super quick and easy. Okay, I was gonna put on makeup, but then I'm like, if I'm gonna go like rip apart my closet and boot room downstairs, I might get like sweaty, so like what's the point? So I'm not gonna put on makeup, at least not yet. I was just editing some short form videos and I figured I wanted to come up and try on those pajamas. I'm almost done my coffee. This is the little goodie bag from Joe Fresh. If you're Canadian, you know Joe Fresh is like, it's hard to explain. <laughs> so it's not a standalone clothing store. It's like a clothing store within a grocery store. And I know that that sounds crazy. You can also shop there online. They have like tons of styles. They have great plus size fashions. Do you remember my like, um, I think I did a little like mini haul from them in the summertime and I found some like really cute things when I was shopping at like the grocery store. Let me show you, I'll give you like a little refresher. Okay, so like this little striped top is Joe Fresh. This little orange one, these were like summer staples for me. I wore them with jean shorts. So cute with jean skirts. Also, I can't wait to wear this orange cardigan. I actually put it in one of my 10 days of fall outfits videos. I styled it with like a jean skirt and some black boots, so cute. And this is gonna be like a fall staple for me. It's like literally the color of a jack-o'-lantern. So this is Joe Fresh. They have like so many awesome styles. So you don't have to physically go to the store to get them, but if you are going to the store and you're in Canada, obviously, Zayers, Superstore, love their clothing, super good quality, great price, plus size friendly. All right, so let's take a look at everything in here. We got some jammies and some slippers. How cute are those? They're like clogs, but like Sherpa clogs. And they do actually have a pretty hard sole. Would I risk wearing these outdoors? I don't know. I think I'd be scared to ruin them because they're so white and beautiful. Let's try them on. I got a size 10, that's what size I am normally. They're like a soft hug. Okay, if any of these are available online right now, I'll link them in the caption. I don't know if they are yet because this was like a preview, but if these are available, they will be linked in the caption. Same with the pajamas. There are other colors of the pajamas too. I think there was like a blue, black, and then white. They're so cute. I got black because I just know better. I would just spill all over the white. This will have a stain somewhere on it. Let's put on the pajamas. I'll be right back. I love these. I think I'm going to get another pair or two. These are so soft and cozy. They're like, I can't even explain it. It's so, like I thought for sure that they would be like super warm and I'm a hot, I run hot when I sleep. They're so lightweight. They're so soft. Look at the little embroidery. So obviously the link below, they won't be embroidered, but like look at the initials. These are so cozy and I do need to mention this. I have the world's shortest legs, like shortest legs of all time. If you are tall and have long legs, these will work because I have pulled them up so high and they're, they're perfect for me. So if you are tall or long-legged, these will work, which is great because I know so often, like I have so many tall friends and pajamas are floods on them. <laughs> so this is incredible. So I'm in a 1X. I would say they fit like true to size, if not a little large, like this is still roomy on me. They're so soft. I'm gonna get another pair or two. Maybe I'll get white, should I risk it? Ooh, I don't know. Anyways, thank you, Joe Fresh. I'm obsessed with these. I don't think I've ever been this excited about pajamas before in my life. <laughs> um, this is already giving me anxiety. Okay, good news. I have a home for the potty. So I'm gonna immediately put this in my car 
along with these boots that have to be returned to Walmart because they're too big for Marlo and some shoes for my sister because they're too narrow for me. This is going to my sister for my niece. So there you go, Claire Bear. It's always giving you a new potty. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this even a little bit, but let's do this. I'm already hot, so I think I'm going to take off my sweater. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Also, I'm not editing, so I can take these off. I don't know the best way to do this, but what I believe will work is to take literally everything out of here and put it in the foyer and then come back, do a quick clean and assess things. Also, I wish I had some boxes because I'm sure we're going to be getting rid of things. That's okay. We'll just sort pile. I'm overwhelmed. We got this. We got this. Let's do this. Oh my god, there was a slime explosion. Oh my god, it's everywhere. Stop, ew. Literally, have I mentioned I hate slime? Like, oh, gross. Uh, this is the bane of my existence. Garbage. You can join the pumpkin reset. You know, things are getting serious when I throw my hair up even higher on my head. It's very echoey in here now, very empty. So I think I'm just gonna come in and clean it, go from there, and this is what I have to deal with. And I'm already stressed out. Oh my gosh. I feel like it's hard because this room is so small, I feel like it's hard to like bring you in here, um, but I'm gonna do a really quick vacuum. I'm gonna wipe everything down, a quick Swiffer, and then I'm gonna assess the situation. <laughs> I don't know what I wanna do yet. I feel like I need to go through things and get rid of things that we don't need. Okay, well, one thing at a time. <laughs> I also caught a quick glimpse of this light. It is so spider webby. So we're gonna do this and get some of the spider webs off. Oh, I should probably do this so I don't back myself into the corner. The room is clean. I'm gonna take a break, I'm gonna make lunch, and then I'm gonna attempt to put everything back in the room. So I think I'm gonna make like a salmon bowl with rice, salmon, air fried salmon, and then some like veggies, like maybe cucumber, coleslaw, and then like mix it all together. I think that's that sounds like it'll really hit. So I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do a little bit of olive oil. Pepper. I feel like it's been a minute since I've made salmon. Um, some uh, onion maple pepper, paprika, a bit of Lowry's, garlic powder, and we're gonna air fry that for, I 
don't know how long. I'll check it in like five minutes. I'm so determined for this to be like the quickest meal ever because I truly think the longer I put off putting everything back in that room, the less and the like the less I'll want to do it. Do you remember the Emily Mariko salmon bowl on TikTok where she would do something similar to this with like QP mayo and then like put it in like a little seaweed wrapper and eat it? This is kind of giving the same vibe. Not really intentionally, but I don't have QP mayo. I'm using normal mayo. Sriracha, soy sauce, a little bit of shredded cabbage or like coleslaw mix, chop up some cucumber and And I'm just gonna do some freeze dried onion. And it looks like I will have enough salmon for tomorrow to have this as well, which is nice because this takes no time at all. So I just have like one of these little basmati rice single servings, like so. I'm obviously gonna mix this all up once the salmon's done, but I want it to kind of look cute. So I'm gonna put a little bit of cabbage. I don't know how I want my cucumber. The cutting board. I normally just chop it on my counter. Okay. Should I do like little strips or should I do chunks? Also, have you seen those like hacks to buying sushi grade salmon and having like your own sashimi at home? I've been so tempted because that's like one of my favorite foods is like salmon sashimi and salmon sushi, but I'm so scared. Like I'm, I'm scared I'll be that one person that does it wrong and ends up with like the worst food poisoning of all time. So I haven't done that yet. Have you ever done that before? Have you made your own sushi before? It's actually surprisingly really fun. And I mean, I just do like avocado rolls, shrimp tempura rolls, stuff like that. But it's so, once you do it like a few times and you get the hang of it, it's like ingrained in your memory. I should I have I made a vlog talking about how to do that before? It's never going to taste as good as it does at a restaurant, but it does hit when you want like a crepe if you have a craving for like avocado rolls or something. So I'm just going to do some sriracha, a little bit of these onions, a little bit of mayonnaise. It's not QP, but it'll do. Soy sauce. Looking good. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes. Okay, I think we're done. About 10 minutes, I would say, and this looks done. That looks done, right? And then I have my bowl here, so I'm just going to, and I'm gonna pack one away for tomorrow for lunch. All right, look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, also, I don't really like the skin, so I'm okay if this comes off the skin. Stop, look at how good that looks. I'm so excited to eat this. Oh, so easy too. It took literally 10 minutes to make. Okay, I feel like we need to do a little on-camera taste test. It's been a really long time since I've had something like this. Oh, that's really good. Mm-hmm, a little bit spicy, not too spicy. Oh, this is really good. You should make this 10 out of 10, nine out of 10. It's missing something, but I don't know what. If there's something that you could think of that would add to this, let me know, because it feels like there's one thing missing, but I don't know what it is. Look what I found in the basement. Now, I was holding a bunch of like old documents that we really need to go through that we probably don't need to be keeping anymore. Like I found pay stubs from like almost 10 years ago. It's old, it's grimy, but it'll work. At least it'll be a temporary solution for all like the boots and hats and stuff until I figure out a more permanent solution. Oh my gosh, this is a little dusty. Oh. These need to be cleaned out. Can't get over how clean it looks in there. I almost feel like I don't want to put anything back in there. But my foyer looks like a tornado just went for it. So I gotta do something, you know? So I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll like label each drawer like mitts, hats, scarves, and kind of go from there. And then we'll we'll tackle that. I think this is where I'm gonna wanna put this. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I think this is a good starting point. And if I have room, maybe I'll put the craft cart next to it. But I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw all of the mitts and hats and everything in this room on the ground 
and then just go through everything. Okay, I thought I thought we would take a quick break because I just got a package and I thought we could open it together. I don't know what it is. It'd be fun to open it. And I was actually just going through Theo's diaper bag and emptying it because I don't think we really need a diaper bag anymore. <laughs> Oh, I'm having a crisis. I'm like, I don't have babies. I don't have toddlers. I have children. I totally promise I'm fine. Okay, look what I found in my diaper bag. A bunch of necklaces tangled together. How fun. So tangled. Oh my gosh. Okay, what is happening? There we go. Stop. That's cute. Let's put this on. I feel like I'm that meme where it's like, when you're cleaning your room and just find a bunch of stuff to play with. Does that look good? I don't even know. Ooh, pretty, I'm wearing a necklace now. Okay, this one I'll just put on my steps to take upstairs later. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Hold on. It says Say's Candy Confectionery Lip Treats. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I freaking love Say Lip Oils. And do you wanna know something? I literally just finished one, like fully, and I had a backup one that I got in a PR package a little while ago, and I put it somewhere for safekeeping because I knew I would need it, because I go through, I literally, I'm the person that has a lip balm, lip oil, lip gloss on me at all times, and I'm co I'm like constantly, re I reapply my lip stuff like 400 times a day, and I don't know where I put this lip oil. Like, I can't for the life of me. I'm like, did, maybe I gave it away, but like, I don't think I did. Anyway, so I'm very excited for this. Let's see what's in here. Oh my God. God, stop it right now. I'm in heaven. I'm literally gonna throw up I'm in heaven. I know that's extreme. Stop it right now. Okay. I could literally cry because I was just thinking, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm, I don't, I need a new lip oil. And now I have like the freaking mother load. This is so generous. Thank you, Say. Look at that. I don't know what to do with myself. Let's go through them together. Maybe we can swatch them in another video because I mean, we're so busy right now cleaning out this boot room. Okay, we've got Kiss, Play, Dream, Dip, Bounce, Push, Disco, Remix, Shake. And then there's new lip liners. Oh my God, fancy. French, it's a pink nude. Flirt, it's a caramel nude. Um, Wink, it's a rose nude. Twist is a mauve nude. What's this? Oh, tease. Plum Brown Nude. Let me know if you want to do like a little testing video and we can swatch them all together. I do know I like this product and I do know that I like the formula because I've used it before but I've never tried the lip liners and I don't, I've only tried like one, maybe two of these shades before. So let me know. <gasps> Pretty. There's some of the shades right there. Thank you so much, Say. This is so kind and so generous. I can't wait. I can't wait. We're back to reality. How do I organize this? It's not very big. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit everything in here. I'm thinking I'll do like an, like an adult section with hats and stuff, or maybe like everything. Also, I don't need an infinity scarf anymore. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, so I'm gonna put all Andrew and my toques, maybe just toques in one of these bigger sections, and then we'll kind of see where we're at. That's mine, that's mine, that's mine. Oh, that's mine too. Shoot, I have a lot of hats. Maybe I should go through these. Andrew has like two, I have like 400. Also, this is mine, but Milo 100% stole them. Um, is that mine? That's mine. No matter what I say, do not ever let me buy another toque. I have so many toques. I didn't realize how many toques I had. Is that everything? I think that's, I think that's it, apart from these. Just pop those in. Okay, so all of our hats. Okay, I'm gonna go through this, my battery's gonna die, I'm gonna charge my battery, and then when I come back, this will be done. Maybe, hopefully, I mean, we'll see. Hello, is it even a Zoe vlog if we don't <laughs> cut to the next day near the end because my camera died? 
I don't know if it's my battery or if I just yap too much. I think I just yap too much. Me in editing says we yap too much. I just finished walking Marlo to school. Theo is home with us today because when I picked him up from school yesterday, he was just a snotty mess. And last night he just started like feeling crummy and snotty and congested. So I'm like, hear him sneeze. So I said, you know what? You're staying home with us today. We'll make it work. And then tomorrow, if you're feeling better, you can go back to school. Hopefully, hopefully he feels better tomorrow. Oh, it actually doesn't look that bad. I was like, oh, don't mind the mess, but the mess is over here. You can't really see it. It's out of frame. <laughs> So after my camera died yesterday, I only had like an hour until I had to get the kids from school. So I had to, I was gonna wait and film the rest of my getting the room together. But then I'm like, if I wait an hour, I'm gonna have to go get the kids and I have to take Marlo to dance. It's like a whole thing. So I'm like, that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna have to do it off camera and kind of show you the after. And there was a couple of points, <laughs> there was a couple of points where I was like, oh, I just gotta shove everything back in, but I didn't, I stopped myself. We'll go in, we'll take a look, and I'll kind of explain what else needs to be done. But for the most part, it's clean and organized, and I'm pretty proud. So let's go take a look. I feel like I also need to show that this is empty. I didn't just shove things everywhere. Not that I would, but look. Look. I'm not hiding a bunch of <laughs> stuff. Though you should see the back of my car. It is literally overflowing with things that I need to donate, which is good though. Look, look, empty, okay. Are we ready? Moment of truth. Our finally organized boot room. Look at this. Like, I'm pretty proud. So, I back when I, the last time I cleaned this boot room, I had labeled all of these hooks and they're actually right now. So, Marlo and Theo's like coats and stuff. Theo's backpack, cause he's not at school today, Marlo's backpack. This is dance and swim stuff for like after school curriculars. I'll also put skating stuff there when it gets cooler. Reese's stuff, she's checking it out. She's like, that's my stuff and it's actually hanging up. And then spare, which I have Andrew's um, motorcycle gear in a bag here, my hat and then his helmet. And then this is gonna be out of here too soon. This is the giveaway winner cup that I just need to do, which I'm not doing in this vlog because I haven't heard from you yet. So send me a message. Once you send me a message, I can make your cup and maybe make it in a vlog if you want me to. And then this is kind of odds and ends, like pool filter for our pool we're getting rid of. It's like vacuum accessories, leaf blower accessories, just random things, which I'm fine as long as it's like a small area of random things. And I probably will go through that at some point. I do need to go through the craft cart a little more thoroughly. I feel like it looks okay, but it's a little chaotic. But that just happens when the kids are like pulling stuff out and, and doing crafts and stuff, which I mean, it's normal. It's, it's not a big deal. Um, I did go through and throw a few things out yesterday. Boots, I was, if I had time yesterday, I was going to clean these boots here need a good scrub down with like a magic eraser. I have a couple rain boots, but then like these boots I wear quite often in the fall and they're a little, they're looking a little crusty. They need a good scrub. These, I don't, I mean, these are our grass cutting shoes, so they're gonna look crusty regardless. And then I'm so glad I found this organizer in the basement yesterday because it, it literally has made a world of difference. So I think I'm gonna make Cricut labels for it because I feel like at first this was gonna be just like a temporary solution, but I do honestly think that this is a really good storage solution for our winter stuff. And it doesn't look that bad. And then what I'm thinking is we can get some kind of I don't know if like shelves, wall shelves or something, something nicer looking on this side or vice versa, I don't know. I'm actually using our calendar, which is, I mean, go us. So I think I'm gonna go make um, drawer labels with my Cricut for this. Theo's mitts are the top drawer. And then Marlo's mitts. And then Andrew's. And then my mitts. And then this is the kids' headwear and scarves. And then the bottom is Andrew and Mai's headwear. So yeah, not bad. I'm glad I finally cleaned this because I feel less, you know, cluttered in my brain now. So if you have any suggestions 
for shelving or something in there or do you, if you have any ideas. I just don't want to like take up more room so I don't want big shelving in there. Um, but I would like something useful and maybe kind of nice looking because like the built-in bench, the hooks, like that's nice. Um, not that it's seen by people's eyes on a regular basis other than ours. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for spending the day with me. We'll see you next week. Bye guys.